Hey guys, welcome back to Fin Scales and Fluffy Tails. My name is Bryn, and today I am going to be showing you guys all of my hamster supplies. Like everything I bought for my hamster. So if you guys, I'm not gonna be going over the things that are in Sven's cage right now because hopefully you guys watched my last video about that and you saw his cage tour and everything. So I don't have to go over that, but I'm basically gonna be showing you everything I bought for him so that you guys can get some ideas. And I'm gonna be using a lot of this stuff in upcoming cage tours for holidays or themes that I wanna do. So that is what we are gonna do. Um, I guess, I, I didn't write a script for this video. I'm just kind of um, gonna show you guys what I got. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is all the food items that I bought him. Um, his main diet, is the Sunburst uh, Gourmet Blend by Higgins. So this is what he gets for his main food. Um, as far as the research I did, this was the this is what everybody's feeding now. This is the best one to feed. So this is the food I got him. To go along with that food and to supplement the protein are these, the Missouri Rat, um, Rat and Mouse Diet Blocks, basically. This will help, this helps to add more protein to his diet so that he is healthy. And so I bought this as well. All the hamsters I've had in the past really like millet. I usually don't buy a bag this big, but I found this at Walmart and it was really cheap for this much, but I don't usually buy it in this big of a bag, but I did this time because it was the only thing they had. Um, then I have these treats, which I bought from Petco, and the reason why I don't know what these treats are is because I just went to, it was like that thing at the beginning of Petco when you first walk in the door and they have those little scoops and you can like scoop out the, the homemade treats or whatever and measure them, and that's what I got. So these are turkey flavor. And I got these Whimsy's Chews. Now, when I lived in Ohio, you could get these just like a couple at a time, but here they don't sell them a couple at a time. So I had to buy this whole bag. So I bought this whole bag of Whimsy's Chews for Sven so that he could have them whenever he wanted. And last but not least, I bought these treats for him. These are um, apple and strawberry flavored Gerber puffs. He loves these. And after we finish this container, I'm gonna be getting him a different flavor to try. But these were super cheap. He really loves them. So I can't wait to, for us to try more flavors. And also I bought him an extra water bottle because when we first got the water bottle that was on the stand, we were worried that it wasn't working. We actually had to remove the plastic piece in the nozzle because he there sometimes it wouldn't work, sometimes water wouldn't come out. So I bought this one just in case we couldn't get that other one to work. And so we just have it now. It was really cheap from Petco. I don't know if we're gonna end up using it. I didn't really wanna put Velcro, which on the side of the tank is that would make it kind of ugly. But his water bottle on his stand has been working really well, so we haven't had to use this one yet. Okay, so now I'm going to go into all of the ceramic items that I bought for him. Um, all of these I'm gonna show you are from Goodwill. So I got this little bucket. This is a rabbit shaped bucket. It is ceramic, the whole thing is ceramic, even this little carrot. So I cannot wait to use this for the Easter theme. And continuing with the Easter theme, we have this egg with the crucifix on it. Um, again, if you guys didn't know, we are a Christian family. So I thought this egg was really cute again for Easter. Um, I found this really cute ceramic bunny sitting on an egg for Easter again. And I couldn't pass up this little ducky. I thought I could put maybe like little treats in here that he'd have to like reach up and get. And yeah, his one little foot is kind of chipped, but I didn't care about that. He was only a few cents, so I couldn't pass him up. And I got this really awesome flower bowl, also from Goodwill. This will probably go in a couple different cage themes. If I do like a summer thing, or like it could go in the Easter one, it could go also go in the spring one. So this would be really nice for 
basically any spring, summer, or Easter theme. I really like the crystal. So this is like an old fashioned piece of crystal glassware. I really like this because it looks kind of icy. It looks kind of um, like wintry cause it's like, you know, clear and looks like ice to me. So I got this and this could match with anything as well. I didn't get that many Halloween items because Halloween isn't for like almost another year now, but I did find this super cute Halloween like pumpkin bowl that I'm gonna be using next year for a Halloween cage theme. Um, Sven's birthday is October 2nd, so I cannot wait to make him like a Halloween cage theme for his birthday next year. And so this is a bowl that could be used for like winter. I really like it. You could use this as a sand bath or like a food dish. And if you can see on the side, it's got a snowman, penguins, a moose. Like this is a really good winter cage theme item. So sometimes in Goodwill, people like donate things together. And I'm pretty sure these were a set because it has like the same type of characters on the outside. And I actually saw this at a different time when I went to Goodwill that I bought this. So when I saw this, even though it was $5, which is kind of expensive at Goodwill, I had to have it because I already have a little bowl. So definitely had to have that. The next items I have to show you, one of them is this clear glass vase, basically. It's a vase, but what I like about it is if you turn it on its side, it now becomes a really cute hamster sand bath. And this is definitely big enough for a Syrian. So it's really nice because when they're digging around or using it as a toilet or digging in it, they, can, they can't kick as much out because of this dip right here. So I got this to be used as a sand bath or basically a sand bath or a hide. I got this really cute snowman mug that's really big and really deep. I only paid a dollar for it, but it is super cute and it would definitely make a good hide for a Syrian hamster. And I also already got some things for Valentine's Day too. So I have this Valentine's Day bucket. Again, the whole thing's ceramic and metal. He can't chew it. And I got this cute little mug with the hearts around the edge. This is a Valentine's Day, like I think it's a candle holder, like you can put a little candle down in there, but this is an awesome hamster hide that's kind of unique, which is why I got it. So I really like this one too, only two bucks from Goodwill. And I got this Happy Valentine's Day mailbox. I thought this was so cute. So Sven will have his own little mailbox for Valentine's on Valentine's Day, and it is made of metal. So he can't chew it. He can just go in and kind of hide in it or play in it or whatever he wants to do. And um, the last thing, the last thing I have for the winter theme was these let it snow. So this is, these are some gel clings that say let it snow. And then I got two packs of snowflake gel clings. I really love gel clings. I love decorating Sven's tank on the outside with gel clings. So this is kind of a sneak peek of the next hamster cage theme we're gonna be doing. So that is that. And something else that I bought was these popsicle sticks because I wanted to make a ladder for him. So that's this is what his ladder's made out of, just some popsicle sticks. And I just glued them together with hot glue. And let's see, I got these two baskets. These two baskets, their lids come off and stuff like that. So they're kind of cool. I don't know if he's gonna chew these. If he does chew them, I won't leave them in his tank, but I haven't used these yet because I'm not sure what I'm gonna use them for, but they were cheap and I thought they were pretty, so I got them. And we have more Valentine's Day stuff. I didn't wash everything yet, so everything will have to be washed and sanitized before it goes into Sven's cage. But I found this really cute heart-shaped dish at Goodwill, which is plenty big enough for a Syrian. It could also be a sand bath maybe for a dwarf hamster. So that's really cute too. Something else I really like, again, with this, with the crystal silverware, I love this crystal silverware. So this is a dish in the shape of a strawberry. I love this strawberry. 
and because it's like clear and it doesn't have any color you could basically use this any time of year at least that's what i think and again we have more valentine's day stuff i got this third heart-shaped valentine's day dish at goodwill i loved this and i had to get it so I don't know what I'm gonna be using in his um, Valentine's Day cage theme when that comes up in February, so you guys will just have to watch the cage tour and see what I do with it. Another Easter item I got was this dish. So this is a flower, and then there are little bunnies on the outside of this, which is so cute. So this is big enough, in my opinion, to be used for a sand bath or a food dish for a Syrian, which is why I got it. And it was only $2 at Goodwill. So as you can see, I've been, do I've been doing a lot of Goodwill hauls, like Goodwill shopping sprees the past few times. Again, I don't know why I bought so many, but I also have this Valentine's Day dish that I really, really like. And I couldn't pass it up because it's the perfect size and it just puts you in the mood for Valentine's Day. And I think this might be the last Valentine's Day item I have, but I found this cute little owl. And those little hearts on his belly are so cute. And he's got the red on the outside. And so, you know, I guess you could use this as a food dish, but I'll probably just put this in his cage for decoration for him to like climb in and stuff like that because this is adorable. Who wouldn't want this? And then the last item I have in this box is this snowman. Again, this could be used as a dish just a play item, but I couldn't pass it up because he was so cute in his little snowman outfit. And I have kind of already planned the um, January's theme in my head. So I think this will match really well. Okay. So I have a few more items to show you before I move the camera and show you the different kinds of bedding we got. But I forgot to show you guys these with the last batch. These are wood slats that I bought because I wanted to make Sven his own platform but I didn't realize how big his wooden two-room hide was gonna be. So his two-room hide is actually really big and it's big enough to be a platform on its own. So I didn't actually have to make a platform. But if I ever do wanna do some something cool for him or some little craft, I have the items and the materials that I'm gonna need. Also, I have this blanket. So this is one of the cutest blankets I've ever found i only paid like two dollars for it from walmart and i've had this blanket for a while and actually i bought this blanket for daisy a while back um before we even thought about getting another hamster i bought this blanket before like when i was still living in ohio and i couldn't pass it up because it was so cheap and i bought it at the same time that i bought this blanket but i ended up giving this one to daisy first and I ended up giving this one to Sven because I needed one for when we do our bathtub taming sessions. And so I was just using this one for Sven and this one for Daisy. So I figured I'd show it in his product video. And then we have all of these toys. So all the toys that he had in his cage for his cage tour also came in this bundle that I got from Etsy. So we have all of these apple stick chews which I don't know if he's gonna like these. I tried to put them in his um, tank for Christmas, couldn't find anywhere to put them. I might end up giving these to Daisy cause Sven and Daisy can kind of share toys, but these are just apple sticks. And then we have this cute little tree, which is really cute. So basically, if I wouldn't have been able to find him a ceramic tree from Goodwill or something, I would have used this this little wooden thing as his Christmas tree because it definitely looks like a tree and it kind of it kind of stands on its own not super great but I could make it if I wanted and then we have this cute little wooden chew I'm not sure what kind of animal it is because it has a tail but also like this is the general shape of like a, a monkey's head but I don't know I don't I don't know what this animal is, but it's cute. It's made of wood. It's safe for him to chew, so it's one of his toys. And then we have this hay star, which Daisy really loves these. So if Sven doesn't like this, I might give it to Daisy because Daisy loves these hay stars. She likes to destroy them, which is really cool. And then this could even be a toy in and of itself because this is made of like a 
wood slash paper material and then these could be like, you know, you could make this into a foraging toy for like a small rabbit or a hamster. So this is a toy all in, of, in and of itself in my opinion. So now that I've showed you all the toys and supplies I have, I'm gonna turn the camera around so I can show you the storage of our bedding and show you what we have down there. Okay, so this is the bottom shelf of the kitchen island that Sven's tank is sitting on top of. And this is where we keep all the hamster bedding. So I have this blue Carefresh here, and that is gonna be used in January's cage theme. So I have this. And then in this bag right here is the sand that I use for his sand bath, which he's been mostly using it as a toilet. But the sand um, is actually aquarium sand. It's a special kind of aquarium sand. So it's safe for hamsters. I didn't want to go through the trouble of having to bake play sand. And right now it's like winter and it's really hard to find play sand here. So, so underneath here, if you guys can see, I have this giant four cubic feet of Aspen bedding on the bottom. So that's what his cage even next month is gonna be mostly made of because it's really expensive to use just paper. And then we have this bedding it's also natural aspen, whoops. I bought this for Gimli's crickets a while back before we had Sven. So the crickets need something to live on. I don't like to giving them just like a bare bottom enclosure. So they have this little bag. And the last container of bedding we have is this extra, whoops, this extra bag of KT clean and cozy. That is white. So we have white KT Clean and Cozy and blue Carefresh. I wanted to find other colors of Carefresh, but the Petco in my area doesn't have it. Couldn't find where to buy it online. So I got white Carefresh and, I mean, white KT Clean and Cozy and blue Carefresh. So that is what we have under here. Okay, everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video of all the hamster supplies that I bought for Sven. If you like my content and you wanna keep watching, hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And you can follow us on Instagram for more content if you really want to. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one.